Series sponsors Victoria. Storage, we all love more of it, but finding the room in your room isn't always easy. At Hammond's, we turn wasted space into storage space. We make the most of every inch, see things in clever ways and beautiful ways. So everything has its place, every shirt, shoe, earring, tie and dazzling necklace. Get £600 worth of free wardrobe storage, plus an extra 20% off. Hammond's, life is better with storage. Night out, no kids, and a full body bread. Oops. Professional job? Well, maybe not. That's Jack from Current PC World, and this little beauty is the Hot Point Active Care. Great with stains, at low temperatures, even 20 degrees. How cool. See? Bright as ever. Super cool. I think they'd rather be on their own, Jack. We'll deliver, install, and take away your old machine for free. Clean like a pro with Current PC World. Get up to 50 free streams on your first deposit with no wagering requirements and bonuses paid in cash. Find your Ojo at playojo.com, the fair casino. Top stories making the headlines from home and abroad in the ITV Weekend News. Something has to give, and 12 days out from the EU's deadline, it looks like it's about to. The Prime Minister still hasn't given up on her Brexit deal. Her cabinet, party, and parliament are at war over what to do. Tomorrow, there are yet more Commons votes, and this time, they might just change everything. Also tonight, the Home Secretary extends stop and search powers for police in England and Wales, but it's been another violent weekend. Life imitates art in Ukraine, as an actor famed for playing the president leads the vote to become the country's leader. Liverpool leave it late, but an own goal keeps their title challenge on course. This is On TV News with Kylie Pentelo. Good evening. You might think we've been here before. This week we'll see another round of crucial votes in Parliament aimed at finding a Brexit deal the majority of MPs can vote for. Despite months of wrangling, tonight the Cabinet and the Conservative Party remain deeply divided. Some want the Prime Minister to get behind a softer Brexit. Others just want out, with or without a deal. Tomorrow, MPs of all parties will vote in an attempt to narrow down the options. In the meantime, Theresa May is still fighting to win further backing for her deal a fourth time around. Our political correspondent Paul Brand has this report. The cabinets are split over the alternatives. The Justice Secretary providing a few directions to a member of the public this morning, and the Prime Minister too, advising her to listen to demands for a softer, closer deal with the EU, and warning he'll quit if she leaves without her at all. If Parliament is voting overwhelmingly against leaving the European Union without a deal, but he is voting in favour of a softer Brexit, then I don't think it's sustainable to say, well, we'll ignore Parliament's position and therefore leave without a deal. Customs Union, the eyes were 264, the nose were 272. So MPs were only a few votes last week from backing a Customs Union. That kind of deal could unite a majority in another round of votes tomorrow, but split the Conservatives. With half the party writing a letter to the Prime Minister suggesting they prefer no deal to a softer one. Well, those who advocate that position stood on the same manifesto that I stood on, that was very clear that we would deliver a Brexit that doesn't involve the customs union and doesn't involve the single market. And I think that's a very clear commitment. I think we should really seriously look at delivering a no deal on the 12th of April. <laughs> if her MPs can't get behind her, she might ask us to again. The strong and stable leadership this country needs to take Britain through Brexit. Thankful there'd be a repeat of the 
the slogan that maybe of the election the government isn't completely ruling one out. We've got a, a minority government in a turbulent time. So we, you know, just in terms of sensible, pragmatic planning, but we are not seeking, preparing in, in, in that kind of sense that I think you mean for a general election. If the Prime Minister had hoped for guidance this morning, she did at least leave church with some flowers. Whatever MPs hand her this week might not be quite so pretty. And Paul has joined me for uh, more on this. So, Paul, just how well allied does Theresa May face this week, Colin? Well, Colin, you need to be a chess master to plot all the potential moves this week. MPs will make the first move tomorrow in this next round of so-called indicative votes on all the Brexit options. And talking to some of the ringleaders today, they do sound confident. They're not certain that they will coalesce around some kind of form of Bre uh, softer Brexit involving a customs union. And counterintuitively, that could actually allow the Prime Minister to pull checkmate because she's hoping it could scare some of the rebels into backing her Brexit deal in a potential fourth vote on Tuesday. Downing Street sources telling me they do want to try and have another go at all of this. If that fails, she's going to have to change tactics here. So either she's going to have to back a customs union, split her party, face resignations from one wing of the cabinet, or she goes for no deal, faces resignations from the other wing, or Finally, as much as government sources tell me tonight she does not want them, she'll have to throw the whole chessboard in the air, let us pick up the pieces in the general election. OK, Paul, we will wait and see this week. Thank you very much for that. Thanks this evening. Police linking a series of separate stabbings in North London have made two arrests. All four of the victims were just miles apart when they were attacked. Two are in critical condition. It happened on the day the government relaxed stop and search powers in England and Wales in an attempt to curb knife crime. Neil Connery reports. Forensic officers searching for evidence after four people were stabbed by a knifeman in a spate of random attacks in North London. Two were in a critical condition. Police say a woman and three men were knifed in the back in separate attacks as they walked alone in Edmonton. One of the men was seen lying in a pool of blood. The person on the floor was a male person and he had blood. The hospital wanted him to ambulance. Officers say the suspect acted alone. Two men have been arrested as inquiries continue. The latest stabbings have as concerned groves over knife crime across Britain. Sealed up as evidence, police found this knife just minutes into a stop and search operation in a tube station. Plain clothes officers discovered the weapon and arrested a man. With fatal stabbings across England and Wales last year at their highest level since records began, the rules surrounding stop and search are being relaxed. Stop and search is a vital power. We still, of course, want it to be targeted and focused and intelligent to know, which it will be. But with these new powers, these increased powers, we all agree, including the Prime Minister, this is exactly what is needed. Under the stop and search measures, police will only need to reasonably believe serious violence may occur, not that it will. The powers have been controversial in the past with claims they're often misused and target black people disproportionately. I feel like I was criminalised. I don't think it will make for a better relationship between the community and the police. And it's, based on my experience, it's only due to make things worse. But police have welcomed the relaxation of stop and search rules. We're in a new era with stop and search. I think a lot of that's down to uh, better training for our officers. Uh, and we understand the tactic can be uh, difficult for some people. But I think people also understand that London is other urban centres. It's a vital tool. As police inquiries continue in Edmonton, tomorrow the Prime Minister will host a summit on youth violence. It's hoped that greater use of stop and search powers will help police in the fight against knife crime. Neil Connery, ITV News. Facebook wants governments to do more to police the internet to protect users and make it a safe place for everyone. Founder Mark Zuckerberg says new regulations are necessary to stop harmful websites, cyber attacks and to protect privacy. A giant Mother's Day card has been delivered to the steps of the Iranian embassy in London. The Nazanin 